watching West Hartford Community Television. You're watching West Hartford Community Television. You're watching West Hartford Community Television. Yay! It's a wonderful day in the neighborhood, wonderful day in the neighborhood, wonderful day in the neighborhood. And no one can deny it. How y'all doing, boys and girls? Good, Mr. Pop. Welcome to Mr. Pop's Neighborhood. How y'all doing? Fine. Well, good to see you all back again. We missed two weeks. And guess what we're going to talk about today? Wow. Trip to, oh. New York. Say it, say it. The trip to New York. New York, New York. That's right. City so nice. They had to name it twice. Uh oh, uh oh, give my hand, y'all. City so nice. <laughs> Last Saturday, we went to the Schomburg Museum, right? Yes. yes. We ate at Amy Ruth Restaurant. Yes. yes. We saw the world's biggest McDonald's. Yes. We saw Central Park. Yes. yes. No, what else we see? We see where the bar drop. Yeah. We house. see Be One time. We saw Beyonce's spin house and Jay Z's spin house. Jay Z okay. house. One at a time. One at a time. We seen like we went inside the candy store and you could have got anything you wanted. It was like that. It was expensive. You know what candy store that was? That was the NBC. Yeah, the NBC. Oh yeah, we passed by the WNBA, I mean the NBA store. And yeah, we yeah. passed by one the... One at a time, please, one at a time. Go ahead, you get your chance, man. Go ahead. We passed by the Willy Wonka Chocolate Factory. Yes. What else? And... Rockefeller Center. Oh, oh, oh yeah. The yeah. ice skating ring. Right, The right. old... The uh, old um, movie theater. Yes. Apollo. 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 The, Apollo theater. Uh, the we, New Jack City. Where they filmed New Jack City, the Carter. Yeah. You saw where they filmed the movie New Jack City? Yeah. Wait, and we see um, the store, the Gucci stores, and the Prada stores. We're on Fifth Avenue, yep. Yeah. So we we see and we saw the, the horses on the people on the horses and things. We saw the crocodile, the alligators. Yep. Did y'all enjoy yourself? Yes. 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 And when you behave yourself out of town, we get a chance to go again, correct? Yes. yes. The next trip's going to be, yes. say, David da Busters. David Busters. Now, let's get familiar with every time. We got two new members in Mr. Pop's neighborhood. Would you please say your name? My name is Uraya. I'm in first grade. My favorite subject is math. My name is Anya. I go to John F. Kennedy. I'm nine years old, and my favorite, um, my favorite subject is writing. Who's next? My name is Nigel. I'm eight years old. I'm in the third grade, and my favorite, favorite subject is reading. Who's next? My name is Naya. I'm six years old. I go to Rotten School, and my favorite subject is reading. Who's next? My name is Dante. I'm 11 years old. I'm in grade six. And I go to Carmen Aries, and my favorite subject is math. My name is Jamira. I'm 17. I'm a junior at Hartford Public, and my favorite subject is math. Who's next? My name is Deja, and I'm 16, and I'm a junior at Bloomfield High School, and my favorite subject or activity is gym. Gym? Gym. My name is Tyron, and I'm 10 years old, and I'm in the world grade, and my favorite subject no. is math. My name is Mr. Pop, and I am the director and founder of Mr. Oh Pop's God. Neighborhood, 
And my favorite subject is working with young people. Woo! Yeah. Now, before we start, we love to encourage one another, correct? Yes. We love to encourage one another, correct? Yes. I have two people who I want to encourage who's been doing exceptionally well, and I want them to stand up one at a time, and we're going to encourage them and keep encouraging them, tell them to stay encouraged. And his name is Nigel Hurd. Stand up, Nigel. Nigel. We are proud of you. And I want to tell the group why I'm proud of you and how you've been doing so well in school. Do you all know that Nigel used to be a bully? No. No. Yes, yes, yes. yes. But guess what? I use the word used to be. He's no longer a bully now. Am I right, Nigel? Yes. Nigel used to come in the class. He used to run around the classroom and be disruptive. He no longer does that. Nigel come in the class. He sit at his desk. He wait for his assignment from the teacher. He does his assignment. That's why he was chosen to go to New York. And tell him what else you got for reward. Tell him what else you got for reward. I got a, neck, a wrestling necklace that says, save us. Who, whose favorite saying is that? Chris Jericho. That's right. What else you got? Let's see. Um, How about your hometown buffet pass to go eat free, all you can eat? Uh, um, we got hometown buffet passes and the cards so we could go out and eat free to hometown buffet. And tell them how well you did on the trip to New York. What was your role? What was your role as a junior leader to New York? We went to Harlem, New York, to the Schomburg Museum. I was, I was helping Mr. Pop so he wouldn't get hurt or anything. And how was you helping the other kids out? By showing leadership, right? Give them a hand. OK. There's another individual we want to encourage. And his name is Tyron. George. George, please stand up. <laughs> Tyron used to be a bully. Tyron used to not listen to his teachers. Tyron used to just act the way he wanted to act. But it's been a tremendous change in his behavior. And guess what? We love a tremendous change. We know that a tremendous change is a process, right? Yeah. Yeah. We don't like drastic change, but a drastic change is not real, right? Yes. When a person do a drastic change is because they want something that has an incentive. They want some in return, or they know they're about to receive a gift, right? Yeah. So they'll make a drastic change just to get that gift. But guess what? Tyron made not a drastic change, but what he did was he had a, his was a process. He showed a great deal of progress, didn't you? Yeah. Tell us some of the things you changed from doing. Some of the things I changed from doing is start running in the hallways, not listening, stop, um, I started listening to my teacher and finishing all my work and listening to a teacher, the teacher that told me to stop doing what I was supposed to do, not do. How you feel good about yourself knowing that you made a change? I feel good because I know that I've changed bad things that used to happen. Now, are you worried about peer pressure? No. Because you know when you make a change like that, your old friends get upset with you and start pressuring you to get back involved with what you was involved with. How do you handle that? Tell the group how you handle peer pressure. I didn't listen to them, and I stopped hanging out with them. Okay. That's a good change mm -hmm. for the better, isn't it? Yes. You're going to continue changing, correct? Yes. You're going to continue showing good behavior, right? Yes. And good leadership, right? Yes. Give me a hand, y'all. My, my. Yes. Where have you been for the last two weeks? What have you been doing with yourself? I've been going to school and just trying to progress myself into changing my attitude and not snapping at people. You used to snap at people? Yes. How was you able to change that? Um, I'm still progressing, actually. I only snap at people if they make me mad or if they say the wrong thing, but I'm trying to not get aggravated easily. That's what we need to do, try. Some people don't make efforts to try, to change their behavior. Some people are just content with their behavior. But you said a key word, you said a key word, you said trying to stop. And I believe you are too, I see a change. 
I see a change. You want to continue to change? Yes. Plus, you're a leader now. How old are you? 17. 17, right? So you're a leader. You have younger brothers and sisters, right? Yes. And you want to show them good leadership, correct? Yes. So continue doing it. We're proud of you, too, all right? Deja, how are you? I'm fine. Tell us some of the news. Um, I made honors. My GPA was 3.7. Hold on. Stop right there. Stop right there. Come on now. Come on now. Okay, now finish. Finish. <laughs> Yeah, um, I didn't know I made it for the second quarter, but I did. And I was happy because I haven't made honors since sixth grade. <laughs> how were you able to do that? I want to know how. Let the young people know how you were able to do it. I just did my work and didn't talk to my teachers because I had an attitude with them all the time. So I just did my work and did my homework. Home. What about peer pressure? Oh, I don't know. That's okay. Yeah. I don't have no peer pressure. I'm the leader. For everybody. People follow me. I'm a trendsetter. Now, guess what? You have two types of leaders now. You have positive leaders and you have what? Negative leaders. So which one are you? I am a positive <coughs> leader. I am a positive leader. All the time, you do sometimes. All, all the time? All the time. All the time, most of the time, most of the time. So, so you're going to work, you're going to work on most of the time to what? All the time. You're going to work on it, correct? Yes. It's a process, right? Yes. But progress comes after the process, right? Yep. Anya? Yes. How have you all been doing? Good. Good. One at a time. You want to tell me who you are and what have you been doing lately? I'm Anya and I've been doing good. How about in school? For reading level. Did y'all hear that? Yes. How good you feel about yourself? Proud. Proud? Yes. And what is your name? My name is Rhea and... What have you been doing for the last couple of weeks? I read on the last level, on my reading level. Really? How do you feel about yourself? Good. Do you know how encouraging that is to other individuals who feel like they can't do it? Yes. Do y'all know that? Yeah. Yes. We want to continue to be encouraging, correct? Yes. Now, I want to share something with you all. A lot of people have misinterpreted and got the wrong impression about bullying. People are under the impression that bullying consists of Choking somebody, punching somebody, kicking somebody, or throwing somebody to the ground. Do you all know there's other forms of bullying? Yes. yes. Like verbally. Like verbally, Mentally. exactly. Mentally. Physically. Let's use two phrases. Say intimidation. Intimidation. Say it loud. Intimidation. Do you all know it's a form of bullying? Yes. yes. Say uncomfortable. 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 Do you know any time a person is uncomfortable in your presence, that's bullying? Young ladies, let me give you a hypothetical example. If you're standing at your locker with another friend of yours, and a young lady walk by who you're displeased with, and you suck your teeth and roll your eyes at that young lady, do you know that's bullying? Expression speaks, right? Yes. yes. When you put expression on your face, pretty much you all know what that means, correct? Yes. yes. So now that young lady feels intimidated and uncomfortable, right? Yes. That's bullying. Y'all understand that? Yes. yes. Nobody has the right to be intimidated, correct? No. Yes. How, how can you function doing your work in the classroom if you feel intimidated? You can't really function properly, right? No. no. So you know what we do? We identify bullies, and we make the teacher aware of there's a bully present. And guess what? Don't let nobody tell you that's snitching. Say, that's not snitching. That's, that's not, not snitching. snitching. Anytime you can prevent your fellow student from getting hurt, that's not snitching. Because if you didn't tell, and that individual go home that afternoon, and as they walking home, some kids jumped on them, hit their head against the hydrant, put them in ICU. Who know what ICU means? Say intensive, intensive, care. intensive care. care unit. unit. 
that means a person not expected to live. So if you prevent that from happening, that's not snitching. Y'all understand that? Yes. yes. What question you have, Ty? Um, my question is, um, one day, um, um, uh, these boys were, they were jumping this boy that, another boy that I knew, and I had to, I guess I had to help him and go tell what happened. How do you feel about that? Good. Yeah. See, y'all understand that, right? There's yeah. no such thing as snitching when you're preventing somebody from getting hurt. Y'all understand that? Um, one day, um, my teacher got into an accident with another student, and um, the student tried to lie on my teacher about something, um, about a hitting accident. And the the girl had hit my teacher, and my teacher wanted wanted she had told the people that saw it to go to the main office and tell what happened because if we didn't tell, she was gonna lose her job and mm -hmm. and go to jail. But then we had to what really happened. So my teacher and the teacher is not in jail or in still teaching. Say manipulation. 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 Say it's not good. It's, it's not, not good. good. Do you know something? Mm. I used to be a manipulator in elementary school. Mm. As I got older, I realized that was wrong and it was dangerous. Because you, when you manipulate trouble for a teacher, they can lose their job. Do you understand that? Yes. When we lie on teachers, they can lose their job. So we have to be really, really careful about lying on teachers and saying when they did something to us when they didn't do something. Mm -hmm. Because that is a serious, serious situation. You get that teacher and they can lose their whole career. Y'all understand that? Yes. Yeah. So we don't manipulate trouble. We don't lie on the teachers to the parents. We don't lie on the parents to the teachers. That's why I encourage parents, get to know your child's teacher. Get to know your children's teacher. Let your children know that you have a line of communication open with the teacher in front of your child. I tell parents, give your child's teacher your cell phone number, work number, home number, email address. Let them know that you have a line of communication open and let that child see that because if you don't, you the problem because now your child can manipulate your teacher against you and you against the teacher. Y'all understand that, right? Yes. So I tell parents, let your child know that you and their teacher have a relationship and learn that teacher's personality so when your child come home and say to you, mommy, daddy, that teacher did this to me or said this to me, you better tell your child, don't lie on that teacher. I know that teacher's personality, that's dangerous what you are doing. Y'all understand that? Yes. I think we had a good subject today. What do you all think? Yes. yes. Have anybody yes. got anything out of it? Yes. yes. But guess what? It's, it's a wonderful day in the neighborhood. Wonderful day in the neighborhood. Wonderful day in the neighborhood. And nobody does it. I thank you all for coming. And come up with a topic or a subject we can discuss next month. Okay? Okay. Give yourself a big hand.